we will see how to model a composite material in ANSYS and uh, how to uh, uh, perform the analysis for the composite material for uh, angle ply or cross ply laminate. So, first uh, we need to uh, create the modeling part and uh, we can do the analysis. So, let us say uh, we are in preprocessor stage and we need to add element type. So, composite is a layered wise uh, uh, structure uh, structural element. So, we can go for cell element. So, we can add cell 281 okay. close. Now, we can go for modeling and let us say we are going for a cylindrical panel. So, we can come to the volume and then cylinder and then partial cylinder. So, 0 y 0 radius say 14, 15, theta initial angle 0, radius 2 it says let us say 16, initial theta 2 that is end angle let us say 60, depth is 50. So, we have generated a cylindrical panel whose inner radius is 15, outer radius is 16 and uh, it is having 60 degree uh, angle, it is make 60 degree angle to the center. So, this is the volume. Uh, so, if I want to go for the cell element meshing, I need only area. So, uh, in ANSYS, it follows a chronological order that means, if I delete volume, area will be remain intact and if I uh, delete area, line will be remain intact and again, if I delete line, your key point will be remain intact. So, we need to follow in chronological order and whenever you are going for uh, modeling the uh, such kind of component, you need to follow the reverse chronological order like uh, from key point you can line uh, you can bring uh, you can uh, draw line and based uh, and from line you can draw area and you can from uh, areas you can draw volume so i am deleting the volume first bdl comma p okay so volume it has been deleted but area is there i can plot a plot i can see that area is there now i need to delete uh, the area keeping this inner area intact a d l comma p. So, I can select this top volume, this one, this one, this one and this side also, this one. Okay. So, I can see that only one inside area that is there his uh, radius is 15, uh, 15 and uh, it is making angles at center 60. So, one area it has there. Now, I can go for uh, adding the different layer. Of, so, I need to go to the section, then cell, add layer, add and edit. So, before add and it is saying that cell element uh, you need to put the valid material unless until it will not allow to add the layer. So, I need to put the material properties. So, material properties as you know that composite material is not a isotropic material. So, you need to go for the uh, anisotropic kind of material where linear elastic that is orthotropic, uh, isotropic and composite is orthotropic. So, we, we can add the orthotropic material properties. So, let us say from the published paper, uh, we can add some element, some material property for the composite. So, E 1 is 142.5 GPA. So, E 1 is E x 142.5 GPA that means E 10 to the power 9. E y that is 9.79 and again E 3 is also 9.79 GPA. So, I can put 9.79 GPA E 9, 9.79 GPA that means E 9 and poison says so in x y y z and x z direction poison ratio in x y and x z direction is 0.27 x y and x z 0.27 and in y z direction that is 0.25 
and that is modulus of rigidity x y and x z is 4.72 4.72 E9 4.72 E9 and YZ direction it is 1.192 GPA that means 1.192 E9 ok. Now, I need to add the density. So, density for the composite we can we can search some published paper. So, So, density you can add 1380. 1380 and all the all this is in MKC unit. So, in order to make sure that you are using MKC unit, you can change the units in All, all, all are those in SI units. Sorry, so you can change units in SI. So units has been changed changes meter kilogram second and temperature and Kelvin. So it is in SI unit. Now you can go for section add. So, in each thickness, let us say I am putting 0 0.5, each thickness of the each layer. So, that is material 1. Orientation you can, let us say first layer it is minus 45. So, you can see that it is the ply orientation it has been added. Now, add layer, next layer it is 0 0.5 again material is 1 and orientation let us say it is 45. So, it has added next 0.5 orientation let us say it is minus 45 add layer next 0.5 material id 1 and let us say that is 45. So, this is a angle ply laminate where orientation is minus 45, 45, minus 45, 45. Okay. So, you can see that uh, the composite material in an angle, uh, angle ply composite material it has been generated and we can see that in the plot section that you can see the first layer it is minus 45, 45, minus 45, 45. So, there are 4 layer. So, based on the uh, based on your need you can add several number of layers and you can reduce your thickness also and um, uh, apart from angle ply you can go for cross, cross ply laminate also like uh, 0 090, 0 090 configuration. So, let us say I come to the area plot and I we will go for meshing, mesh tool, let us say line I am dividing this and this line and this line it is 10 apply this line and this line I am dividing it is 20 ok and I am going for area mesh. Now, I can restrict some side as a boundary condition. So, I am restricting the left hand side with all degrees of freedom 
defined solution defined load structural displacement on nodes we call all degrees of freedom I am restricting okay and this side I will give some cantilever load so cell comma r comma p this side not I am fixing it is not taking because I have not selected all walls in plot in cell comma r comma p now I can select the box this node ok and let us say I am going to put some load in this x direction ok. So, force or not we call in x direction I am putting some load let us say 5 ok. So, you can see that it is x direction load has been given and it is in upward direction. Now, I can solve this model solution is done. Now, I can go for plotting the result first I need to read the result then plot result let us say x component deflection I am putting I am, I am generating. So, this is the x component deflection you can see that the max deflection is here because its load is applied over here and you can also plot the stress let us say x component stress and you will get that maximum stress is here because it is cantilever beam. So, at fixed location you will get the max stress. Now, if I want to change the this analysis for a separate set of angle of the composite material ply of the com uh, uh, angle angle ply of the comp composite material I can go to the preprocessor and then I can go to the section add and edit section you can add another section also or you can edit this section itself. So, if you are going for uh, cross ply 0 90 0 90. So, the same analysis it is becoming for the cross ply laminate. Now, I can go for again solving this model with the same boundary condition solve the current solution. Solution is done. So, I can again read result by peak. So, earlier case you can see that the uh, x component uh, stress is 38.98. plot result model solution x component stress. So, it now it has been reduced because of the I have changed the uh, ply orientation of the composite material. So, like this way you can uh, do your own set of analysis and you can generate a result based on your geometry. This is a simple geometry.